Hello and welcome to another episode of Blue's Tech How To's. It's Friday and we're diving into Mix It Up Bot again. We're going to be looking at commands today, getting them set up, attaching different actions to them, and showing you what's all available in terms of creativity and making it your own. The different things that you can add, how you can add multiple things to one command and really start to increase that interactivity within your chat. If you don't have Mix It Up downloaded and installed, make sure to check out the video above just to get it all set up and get that download. Um, but if you've got it all set up and you're ready to go, then let's dive right on into it. Once you have Mix It Up open, again, this is going to be your home screen. So this is the chat uh, as well as the users in chat tab that opens up when you boot Mix It Up. So from here, you're going to want to go into the upper left hand corner to open the sidebar. You're going to want to click on the commands tab and it will load here. This is where we're going to be focusing on this video today. Um, and we're going to give you a quick rundown of what you can do with the pre-made commands. These ones are already baked into the program and they're very similar to ones that you can find in the Stream Elements bot, WiseBot, Nightbot, um, Streamlabs Chatbot. All of those ones will have these basic commands. So when you download this bot, one thing you're gonna wanna start out with is make sure you turn all of these commands off if you're using them elsewhere or if you're moving to mix it up, make sure you turn off the other bot when you're done. You don't want multiple bots competing during your stream. It's not ideal to have multiple of the same messages being sent when someone redeems a command. So make sure you go through and you turn these on or off depending on what you're looking for for your stream. But you've got a whole bunch of different ones here. You've got add command, add quote, um, you've got followage, uh, you've got mix it up, set game, set title, a whole bunch of different things that you can actually assign user permissions to. So you can kind of see right above me, you can choose the permission for each command. So depending on what you want it to be used for, who you want to use it, you can set those right here. You can also apply a global cooldown to those commands. Test it with the play button, as well as enable and disable it right here. So uh, once you've kind of gone through all of these pre-made commands, that's when you can kind of start jumping into creating your own. So uh, if you have experience um, before in using a different bot, it's gonna be very similar. It just looks slightly different. Um, if you've not created commands before, well, this is gonna be fun because there's a lot that you can do. Um, you can keep them simple uh, by using just uh, text, you know, right into the Twitch chat um, kind of commands, or you can use the overlay. Um, you can run different things like send tweets out, uh, connect or send things to Discord. Uh, as well as connect to a whole bunch of other programs. Again, if you're looking for that list of programs, it is just under the services tab on the left hand side. Um, so go there, get everything connected, and it will just open up that much more for you. So going into the custom commands, you can see I've already got a couple different categories here. Um, but what you're going to want to start out with is right down here at the bottom, there is a new command button. You want to hit this button, it'll open up a window for you. So this is called the command editor. This is where you're going to start with building out your the first thing you're going to want to do is give it a name. So we are a kind of water arctic themed kind of channel um, over on Twitch, um, running off the beluga whale theme. So we're going to create one that's just called Splash. And we'll just splash our friends with it. So that was something a little fun that can increase chat interactivity. Um, so the name of it is just what it's named and mix it up. The chat trigger, the one just below it, that's what you can use to trigger the command. So it says here, no exclamation point needed, space separated, semicolon for multiple word. So depending on what you want it to be, just make sure you follow those rules. So you don't need to put the exclamation point in. And if you want it to be two different or multiple different uh, commands, call to actions, then make sure you put them in according to those rules. But we're just gonna keep it simple and we're just gonna call this one flash. And just in case people don't capitalize it, we're going to hit space and we're going to do lowercase as well. So we got both splashes in there. Now this command will be activated by both spellings of that word. So you can also put it in a group if you want. So we'll just call this um, a 
custom commands for now. We'll just leave it as custom commands. It'll create it, create its own category. Um, and then you can kind of keep everything organized that way. I do recommend if you're starting to create lots and lots of commands, try to keep them a little bit organized. It helps you um, focus and find them a little easier when you have to go in and change things. Once you start to have a lot of commands, if you ever need to go in and edit, especially if you're editing something on the fly, it can be a bit of a pain to try to find something within a whole list of commands. So if you keep it organized from the beginning, it definitely can help for sure. So the next thing you want to look at is, I mean, it, here's the toggle for the auto include check mark. Um, check mark, auto include exclamation point. My apologies. Um, you can also throw in wildcards and you can unlock the command. So um, basically, the unlocking it allows it to be used at the same time as other commands. Um, locking it means one will play after the other. So it's a bit of a queue system. So if you don't unlock it, if someone redeems something else, that will finish first before um, the splash command runs. So depending on what you're looking for, typically leave it um, unlocked, especially if you've got stuff happening on screen or it includes sounds, that kind of thing. So you're next, you're gonna see the usage requirements up here in the corner. So there's a bunch of different things that you can kind of add to each command to make it unique in terms of who can use it, how much it can be used, um, if people have to earn the ability to use it, uh, as well as if certain like circumstances have to be hit in order for the command to be run. Um, so this first one here is who gets to use it. Um, so you can choose the streaming platform, again, depending on which one you use. Uh, you can pick the, pick it there and then the role that they have. So you've got a list here that you can choose from. So you can just use it all if everyone can use it, if it's a moderator only command, subscriber only command, however you want to set these up, just make sure you set the permissions here. Under this next one, it is cooldown. So there's different types of cooldown. So you can do a per person, per group, or just a standard global cooldown. Set the time in seconds here, and that will cap it to how much it can be used. These next two are kind of interesting because we're going to dive into these in a later video, um, but you can add a currency and a rank. So Mix It Up has the ability to create currencies and ranks, which are kind of similar but work differently. Um, they're basically a ranking or scoring system um, that keeps track of points or levels that your users can earn by being in your streams. So we'll cover that at a later point, but you can actually restrict your commands to people with a certain rank or a certain amount of currency. You can also make them have to spend that currency in order to run the command. So get creative with it, make people earn points um, and then redeem commands for fun things based on how many points they earn. Or you can use the currencies to enter into a giveaway or something like that, however you wanted to run it. Um, but get creative with it. The, the sky's really the limit, as I like to say here um, when using these different uh, bots. Um, but they've even got arguments that you can set uh, as well as user thresholds. So you could create a command that six people have to use before it actually runs, which is kind of cool. So if you can think of something to use in that regard, again, get creative, make it your own and really apply it to the theme and the brand of your channel. So now that you've gone and kind of done that, um, you can always come back and do those later as well. Um, but once you've kind of got the what you want the command to kind of function, like now you can move on to adding things to the command. Um, so down here at the bottom is a little drop down menu that says action. When you click on this, it's gonna open up a list of different things that you can use as part of this command. So the first option is chat message. So you can put something in the chat. Um, you could actually just run another command. So if you have another command that's already created, um, this is how you can start to string things together by running a command from here, doing something over here, adding a chat message. We'll kind of show you that there as well. Um, but conditional statements, again, do something with your consumables. You can do a counter. So common one is like a death counter. Uh, you can connect it to Discord and you can actually post things in your Discord. External programs, you can read and write from files. Game cues, if this then that statements. Um, input, so that's like a hotkey, for example. Um, so you can run a hotkey using your keyboard or your mouse. Uh, moderation. Overlay is going to be an important one because if you connected that overlay again, uh, you can run uh, sounds, videos, and photos um, through the overlay. So you don't actually have to add them to your streaming software uh, to kind of toggle them on. It'll just run through the overlay, which is super handy. And then you've got overstream pixel chat, polypop, um, serial, 
Sound is a big one as well. So you can play um, sounds like kind of like a soundboard if you would like. Um, you've got streaming software. So this is how you're gonna influence your OBS and your Streamlabs desktop to again, move sources around, turn them on and off and all that kind of stuff. Um, text to speech, you've got Trovo, Twitch, Twitter, voice mod, VTube studio, a wait, which is like a delay. So if you want something to happen and then a few seconds go by or however, then something else happens. You'd want to put a wait in web request. That's just going to grab something from a website. So we're going to keep it simple just to start and we're going to add a chat message in. So with this chat message, now you're going to want to hit plus. That's going to add that chat message to this command. You got a couple different options again here. So you can send it as a streamer if you'd like. I tend to like to do that again, as if you send it as a streamer, it uses your account and you can actually include things like your emotes, for example. Um, so you can also send it as a whisper to the user that you're sending it to. Um, but we're just gonna start at the, uh, the chat message. And with this, we're going to just type something out to create our splash message. And we're gonna, again, the goal with this one is interactivity, something that people can use in the stream, um, keep them engaged. Uh, so you do have variables uh, that I'm going to show you here. Um, so in mix it up, it's the dollar sign and then user username or the individual who redeems the command. Now we're going to say dollar sign username splashes. We're going to pick someone. Now when they redeem the command, they'll do exclamation point splash and then they'll tag a user in chat. So we're going to do dollar sign username splashes dollar sign target username and so that's going to take your name when you redeem the command and then the person you tagged and say that you splashed them with their fit water right perfect so add a little bit of a spin to it get creative um, and that way you can create a command that's unique to you and increases that engagement. So if you're unsure which um, variables to use in order to pull names, times, numbers, all that kind of stuff, there is this special identifiers reference link. If we click on this link here, it's going to actually take us to a website. We're gonna pull this guy over here real quick just to show you guys. Um, so this is the Mix It Up Wiki. You're gonna see in here everything that you're gonna need to kind of work with this bot. So if you ever have any questions, the link will be down below as well, um, or you can click the link within the app itself. Um, but this wiki will allow you to really start to explore the variables and what you can do when working with the program. So now that we have everything we need for this command, uh, if we're just doing the chat message, keeping it nice and simple, what you can do now is just go down and hit save. You hit this save button, it's gonna create that different command. You see it put it in the custom category there and we've got our splash now. So we didn't set anything kind of crazy with it. Um, but what you can do is now if we pull our chat in here, uh, what we can do is we can do exclamation point splash and say we want to target. We've got L Moxie up there at the top. Thank you again, Moxie for the gifted sub. But if we target L underscore Moxie, You can see as we zoom in, we triggered a timer uh, as well um, by the chat message that we sent. So that was that first message that popped up there. Um, but the one that we're looking for here is Belugaman39 splashes El Moxie with their fin, water fight. So you can see that just with that simple command, we've now created something fun that people can kind of uh, play around with and get, uh, get kind of fun with. So now that we've created that text command, the next thing that we can do is actually get a little more in depth and use something like the overlay. So the overlay is going to be a lot of fun because you can do a lot of different unique things with it um, without having to add anything into your streaming software. Um, the overlay is nice because it's just a browser source again that you add to OBS or Streamlabs OBS and then you run the command and it will show up on stream. So if you hit the new command, it's going to open up the command editor here. So similar to last time, we're going to call this one squishy and you'll see why in a second. Um, we're going to add it to the custom man group and then we're going to again just name it the same thing but we're going to include both lowercase and uppercase and from here you're going to want to go down and choose the overlay once you got the overlay selected hit plus 
and it's gonna add this box in here. So again, with the overlay, you have a variety of things that you can choose from. So you can run text on the screen, image, video, YouTube, web page, HTML, or show slash hide a widget. But we're just gonna do an image on this one. Um, you can choose the endpoints for something like a video. So if you're pulling something from YouTube, you can choose the start and the end of the video if you'd like, or some kind of time frame in between. Um, for the image, we're just going to choose that image real quick. We're just gonna grab that from our hard drive. We're gonna throw that in here. You can see that that file has loaded there now, and we're gonna make this 800 by 600, not 6,000, 600 in size. So from here, again, now you can choose the screen position. You have three different choices. You can do simple, which will just get you to choose like a section of the screen, percentage, so working in percentages from the left and from the top, where you'd like it kind of organized on the screen, and then pixels. This is the really fine tuning and if you want it in the exact spot, you can pull the pixel um, from the screen in your um, your streaming software, you know, your OBS Studio or Streamlabs desktop, uh, and you can get it in the exact location that you want it to be in. We're gonna keep it simple on this one and we're just gonna throw it on that left hand side. Um, so now you get to choose the duration. So we're gonna put it up there for five seconds. You can create an, en you can put an entrance and an exit animation. So let's go, uh, we'll fade it in and we'll, uh, we'll flip it out on the y-axis. Just to kind of show you what it what, what it will do here. So again, you wanna hit the, uh, the save button, and now you've got your squishy. So if we zoom out here, um, we've got, uh, we created the splash one, and now we've done the, squish, uh, the squishy one. We're gonna pull this over, and what you're gonna see is when we type into the commands here, exclamation point, squishy, what should happen and we made that quite big, <laughs> but we got squishy. We got our beluga whale um, getting a little head massage there, um, but that's using the overlay on uh, on Mix It Up. So you can combine a bunch of these different things as well. Um, so just for demonstration, what we could do is we could combine these two. Um, so I'm just gonna open up Splash really quick, and we're just going to open the chat message, and I'm just gonna copy this text. We can just close out of it, and I'm gonna disable it for right now. Um, but we're going to go into Squishy, and I noticed that I spelt, I uh, don't know we did get it, it just wasn't showing there under the commands. But we got our overlay. So now you can actually add multiple things to uh, your commands. It doesn't have to just be the one. If you want to come back down here to the action, we're going to put that chat message in. Hit the plus button. Now you can see you've got the overlay as the top blue bar, and you got this chat message one that's now appeared as well. Um, so again, we're going to click send to streamer and we're just gonna paste that chat message in there that we had before. Now hit save, just because I always just like to have that verified, but we're gonna open it up again. Uh, and now you can kind of play around with these as well. So when you start to have multiple different um, steps to your commands, you can use these up and down arrows to switch them and duplicate them. Um, there's a help trash as well as you can enable and disable them um, if you need to. So again, we hit save and we're gonna run that command again for you um, so you can kind of just see what happens. Um, so we're gonna type into chat here. You know what, actually before we do that, let's go back in and let's just make this guy a little bit smaller. So again, by clicking on this bar, we're gonna decrease this to say 400 by, delete the other one, 400 by 300. And then we're gonna hit save just so that it's not as big as before. And we'll grab that box. And we're going to go again one more time. We're going to splash, or I guess we call it squishy. Can't type, but squishy at El Moxie. So now you're going to see the GIF showed up on screen, as well as if we zoom in here, you can see that Blue Command splashed El Moxie with their fin. So that's how you can create a command that runs multiple actions at once um, with mix it up. You do have a bunch of different options as well. Um, you could add a sound to that if you'd like, um, but you really get creative. Um, there can be as many steps as you want. Um, there's no limit to, you know, how many steps you can run. Just if you're starting to add more and more things, getting the timing down is going to be perfect. If you're starting to really play around with um, a bunch of different stuff happening at the same time. You don't want it to be too chaotic, um, but you also want it to be smooth and, uh, and seamless. So uh, when you start to do those commands, uh, that's how you can kind of start to uh, to build those out. That's kind of everything that you can do with Mix It Up. 
with those commands. I mean, again, you can really flush them out, make them much more advanced if you'd like, or just keep them simple. Just have a little bit of fun with it. Make it your own, make it unique. Uh, let me know down in the comments below what you guys create, what you guys decide to do with this. Uh, if you guys do stream, let me know as well, because I'd love to come check out what you guys get done. Um, but you can catch me on Twitch two days a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Love to see you. Come say hi. Um, Tuesdays, we do Tech Tuesdays. Thursdays are our pet therapy day. Definitely, definitely come check it out. We'd love to see you. Um, but other than that, thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate you watching the video. Hopefully you found it helpful, and I'll catch you guys next time.